Atlanta Falcons quarterback Kirk Cousins will be wearing, moving forward, wow. number 18. Double digits. Not number eight. 18. He did wear 12. 12 in college, For right? a little while in yeah. Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah. No? No, I eight think, at I, Michigan I think it was State. eight. I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. And, and then Rex Grossman was wearing eight when he was drafted fourth round by right. Washington in 2012. And then once Grossman was gone, he switched to eight. Look, and, and this is funny because the week before free agency, one of the things we heard, I didn't verify it, yeah. but I blurted it out when I was on with McAfee and company. I said, you know, the connections and the preparations beyond finding a house, beyond finding a school. I've also been told, and I haven't verified this yet, that Kyle Pitts and Kirk Cousins are already talking about who's going to wear number eight. And Pitts loudly denied it on X. And then last Wednesday in, you know, I don't know if they shot him full of sodium pentothal before his introductory press conference or what, but Cousins just, Cousins just blurts out that Pitts was the one player who led the charge in recruiting him, and it went back a few weeks before he agreed to terms. So clearly they were talking about who's going to wear number eight. And at the end of the day, and Cousins said this last week too, the league might have something to pay about, uh, say about it. I think no one wanted to write the check for the existing inventory of Kyle Pitts jerseys with number eight on them. That's an issue. We've seen it from time to time. Most notably when they changed the numbering system, Dalvin Cook, I remember this one vividly. He wanted to go from 33 to 4. He wore 4 at Florida State. But if he went right away from 33 to 4, he was going to have to pay for the entire amount at retail of unsold Dalvin Cook jerseys with number 33 on them. So he waited a year. And after a year, it was okay. So I don't know if they're, if they're going to do this next year. Is it a one-year thing? I don't know. But my guess is this is beyond whatever Kirk Cousins was going to pay to the Kyle Pitts Foundation or otherwise surrender <coughs> to wear number eight. Definitely. This is about who was going to pay, I believe. And I've asked the league what it would have cost and if that was an impediment, and they haven't answered me yet. So it forces me to ask again and again until I forget to ask again. But I have a feeling nobody was going to write that check for all the Kyle Pitts number eight jerseys that are out there on the market. No, I, I think you're exactly right. I, you know, I think there's a certain time that that has to be put out there to, to, to uh, put the league on notice about – the jersey number change and all of that. And, you know, you're right, the Dalvin Cook one. There was a few other ones, too, that were like that as well, where guys wanted to change, but they were going to have to write a check for $900,000 to get all the jerseys back retail, like you talked about. So, yeah, I would think that's ultimately what ended that conversation. Kirk Cousins might have been totally cool writing a check to Kyle Pitts, his foundation, or whatever else, but – uh, to do that and uh, please and please the NFL was going to take a whole different chunk of change there. And, and I'm sure they weren't willing to go down that road there. So, yeah, number 18. It's going to be interesting watching them in number 18. A little different look from them. All right. I'm shocked he didn't go 12. Do they have a 12 on the roster right now? I don't remember one off. Drake the London. Oh, Drake, Drake London, London 12. No, I think he's uh, five. He's number five. Right. So, five. yeah. Uh, and I didn't pull up their roster, but 18 and shades of Peyton Manning and, and uh, you know, that type of number, it'd be cool to see them. There aren't, there aren't many guys who have worn number 18 and had significant success in the NFL. And I'm looking at it now. Is it Kaderil Hodge? Yeah, it's Kaderil Hodge, Cardell Hodge right. Falcons? So he obviously didn't want to pay for yeah. – he didn't like 12 enough to pay for it. And he just said, all right, 18's there. But, yeah, I mean, you're right. 18, right? I mean, it's it's Archie and Peyton Manning. I, I mean, is there another 18 I'm missing through the – Archie wore eight, I think. I think Ooh. Archie wore eight. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he did wear eight. I'm, I think I'm wrong about that. Yeah, you're right. He, he wore eight well, in college, well, too? That's where I wasn't sure. Maybe Frank that's where Trapuca, I'm Frank Trapuca wore number 18 for the Denver Broncos well enough that they retired it until Peyton Manning came along, and they unretired it for Peyton Manning. But uh, So there, there is one former Broncos great who – did enough in number 18 to get it retired, but there aren't many guys that have worn number 18 and had a high Archie level did wear 18 in, in college, football. so I wasn't totally off there. Okay. It was eight in the NFL, right. 18 football in college. Football historian. Football historian. Charlie Joyner, but he wasn't a quarterback. How did Charlie Joyner get away with, away with wearing number 18? He must have been yeah. like a third-string quarterback weird, or something or something like that. Weird little quirks yeah. from time to time. Right. 
that defied the NFL's obsessive compulsing, compulsive numbering rules. Like Devin Hester at number 23, he broke in as a defensive back. Right. Even though he was primarily a kick returner. And then right. when they moved him to receiver, he Keyshawn still Keyshawn Johnson got to wear right. 19, right? Because all the numbers in the 80s were taken with the New York Jets. So he got to wear 19 when he got drafted by that. And, and I think there was a weird thing, too, where – if you were able to do it in the preseason, you could carry it. You could over keep it the for the regular season. season, right? Right. But that ended within a year or two because Randy Moss went from eighteen to eighty-four because he wore eighteen in his uh, rookie year preseason, same number that Justin Jefferson now wears. Roman Gabriel, thank you, Pete, wore number eighteen. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Yeah, another one. Know that so. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.